So what's up guys, Tech Bay here from the Philippines and I'm about to take a review of the latest RF4 C39. This is one of their latest and newest products that will be used as a thermal camera. So I'm going to take a look, start the unboxing and especially the product testing. So roll the intro, let's go! And now we're about to skip to the next part. Actually, this is the most exciting part and it's the installation and product testing. And let's see how it goes. You just need to remove the cap first before installing. Just be careful on the camera and the sensor. You just make sure that it's the tightest part of the grip to ensure that the device will not move by itself, okay? Now I have installed it already. I need to connect the monitor directly to the HDMI port. Remove the cap of the HDMI port, then plug it in on the port of the device. And the other one will be on the slot going to the monitor. And the next thing you need to prepare is the output of the power supply from the Type-C going to the charger. As you can see, the red indicator is already turned on. Once the LED indicator is already turned on, you will just need to wait a few seconds until the RF4 logo will appear on the monitor. And that's it. Okay guys, now I'm going to prepare the mouse because as you can see, you cannot control these settings above without the mouse. First, you need to get the dongle and install it on the top the device and make sure that the battery is already installed and it's a double a battery afterwards you need to power it on and wait for the cursor to appear okay now we're going to check the user interface this is the photo where you can check or make a screenshot to the motherboard and this is the video if you want to make or record a clip and this is the file where you can save all the saved data where we'll go frozen i think this will be used for stabilizing the specific area so you can check thoroughly which part of the motherboard is heating up and the others will be the automatic light effects such as white balance and contrast this will be the compare button oh by the way the other buttons are still grayed out because there is no ssd attached or installed in the device itself now we're going to test how it works as you can see in the top right area this works and serves as the thermal imager camera and this would be it one of the best functions of this thermal camera is that it actually doesn't need a computer this is just a portable monitor just to test the device and within just a snap voila it can give you the best camera resolution that you are looking for as you can see there are two types of camera on this thermal camera one is the main 4k resolution camera located underneath this device and the other one is the main thermal camera located on the right part take a closer look on the monitor this part on the upper right area of the screen it will serve as the thermal imager camera which it can give the specific details of the motherboard where does the heating up comes from moving forward i just want to see how clearly or what is the best clarity of the image it can provide when it comes to heating up the smallest chip of the motherboard so i want you guys to take a closer look on the monitor as you can see this is the shorted part of the motherboard on the outside screen this will serve as the main display of the motherboard now i have decided to maximize the screen of this one of the thermal camera screen so i can see it more clearly as you can see, the quality is blurry. The only way to fix the clarity of this image is you need to adjust the focal point 
by rotating it clockwise or counterclockwise. As you can see everyone, that the one that is blinking is the most heated part or the shorted capacitor of the motherboard. I'm going to maximize the screen to the biggest size that you can do. Now that you have seen the shorted capacitor or resistor and it will be easier for me to find the solution how should I fix this because of this thermal camera. So guys to make the long story short let me summarize some the best or the most important part of the topic. RF4C39 works and serves as a dual camera. What does that mean? It means that the main camera and the infrared thermal camera can work at the same time. It will be easier for you to distinguish or find the most heated part of the motherboard. You need to understand some of the positive key points of this new tool that was released by RF4. Number one, cost effective and price affordability. This of course, uh, the price is really affordable compared from the other thermal camera. Number two, I would say would be the portability. The arm is really stretchable on the any angle that you want it to be. And it's really easy to detach from the top of the microscope and it can even fit on your bulsa. What's the English of bulsa? Pocket. <laughs> pocket. So guys, that's the bulsa is the Tagalog of the pocket. The last but not the least. This tool is really user friendly because I don't need the computer anymore just to make it work. In other words, I just need to connect it directly to the monitor by using an HDMI cable and then it's done. I would recommend you to use a 4K Ultra HD supported monitor so that you can guys maximize the quality of the camera or what I mean is the quality of the video that it can provide. If you're going to ask me if I would recommend this tool to everyone, well definitely yes because aside from its price affordability, it has the best quality that you can give especially for the 4K Ultra HD camera. And speaking of the thermal image camera, I could not conclude or promise that it is the best quality that I have ever tried. But one thing for sure, it really does the job and it can give you the satisfaction of the image clarity that you are looking for. So guys, I would like to thank you everyone for viewing my review or honest review of the RF4C39. Till the next product review, ciao!